In this video, we will explain how to perform the analysis with multiple samples when analyzing Visium spatial transcriptomics data in Chipster. We will go through the key steps and tools needed to perform the analysis with multiple samples. We will first explain the combining step. After setting up the Sura objects and performing the filtering step for each sample separately, we need to combine the Sura objects into one object. We can combine the data by merging, which combines the objects without making any changes to the data. However, if there are strong batch effects present in the data, we can also consider integrating the datasets to remove these batch effects. This was presented in the single cell RNA sequencing data analysis tutorial videos in more detail. Now let's take a look at how to perform the analysis with multiple samples in Chipster. Here is an example session that you can also find from the list of example sessions in Chipster. And here is a full description of the example session. In this video, we will focus on the key steps that are different compared to the analysis with one sample. As you can see, we have two samples and we have set up the Sura objects for both samples. In this example session, we have skipped the optional filtering step here, but until here, the analysis is the same as we have shown before. However, once we want to normalize and run PCA, we need to select this tool instead of this one that we used previously. We need to select similar parameters as when we are normalizing and running PCA with one sample. In this step, we normalize each sample separately and we can choose the number of returned variable genes here as we have done before. But now that we're also combining multiple samples, we need to select whether we want to merge or integrate the samples. We also need to select the number of variable genes we want to use for running PCA with the combined object here. This parameter is needed because when we perform normalization for each sample separately, we choose to return only this number of highest variable genes for each sample, but these highest variable genes may not be the same genes for all of the samples. And we can only run PCA using highest variable genes that are present in all of the samples. In case you have selected more variable genes than there are variable genes across all samples, this tool will run with less variable genes and it will produce a log file to inform the user. In this case, we have tried to run PCA with 3,000 variable genes, but there are only 1,941 variable genes that are present in both samples. We can try to rerun the tool using a higher number of returned variable genes in SC Transform if we want to use the 3,000 for running PCA. And we have done that here. And as you can see, no log file is produced, so increasing this value made it possible to run PCA with 3000 variable genes. Other than this combining tool, we can use the same tools as we used for the analysis with a single sample. The only difference is that we need to select that we are performing multiple sample analysis in these tools. However, it is important to note that these tools will perform the analysis for each sample separately.